news this evening of Legends Hockey League. I'm Parabola in the booth with me. I've got Kill Pestle and Capital Skis, and they'll be giving uh, color and updates uh, throughout the game. It's just the one uh, that was a missed game from Sunday. That's uh, the color and updates. But of course, uh, I forget to mute my sound, so it's going to double on me. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be the Chicago Blackhawks and Carolina Hurricanes. And as you can see here, the standings are updated from Sunday. Uh, Chicago and Carolina both have that game in hand. Chicago with a win here. Pulls within seven points of New York Rangers uh, in second place. While Carolina with a win can put themselves right back into the playoff race. So they would be tied with Vegas for that fourth spot. Teams are getting ready on the ice. <clears throat> of course, I uh, make sure that I was ready. Doesn't look like Carolina is here yet. They probably forgot. Today. It's possible. Well, I mean, I they're in team speed. In they're minutes. in team speed. They've got Taser, Gabe, Babizi, Narg, Self Plug, and Tall Midget. So I mean, they're all there. It's not. Taser doesn't like a hand. So. Wait, aren't yeah. you on Carolina Pestle? Nope. Uh, all right. I'm on New York. That sucks. Pretty good. We're pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Better than being on Carolina. We'll no go ahead and. Switch this over last, to... last time I did a casting thing, Lewis had to poke me and say not to be disrespectful User to players or channel. teams. So many. So I'm not allowed to be disrespectful to players or teams. That's fine. Can I, I be Pierre Maguire? No. <laughs> We've got kind of right. Skis, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in a long time. So yeah, many. Yeah, I've been busy. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and bring us over to the uh, to the rosters and the. As the teams prepare to get on the ice. Got any predictions, boys? Uh, I'm not Chicago certain. Win. <laughs> yeah, I mean, self plug is there for Carolina. He's been he's been effective when he's played, but with 1.7 points per game, game with 1.5. But we'll see if the uh, let's see. Actually, Icy is not there. He's so. in Teamspeak, is he not? on LA now. Oh. Icy's on LA. Yeah, cool. Awesome. I forgot that it hasn't updated on the rosters. So anyway, go ahead oh, and okay. pull that okay. down. Yeah, we're good. We're professional. It's going to be Crab in the Tree, Drag, BG Pie, Fat Squirrel, and Goose for the Chicago Blackhawks. And then Gabe, Tall Midget, Self Plug, Taser, and Nargila, the Carolina Hurricanes. As the puck drops, face-off starts, and BG rips this one right into the Carolina zone as the Hurricanes set up from their own end. Moving left to right. That's fire through. Gabe with a nice reception. He's right in front of the BG. Nice play. Had the momentum and got in front of that one. Poked it to the corner. Now Crab in a Tree lines up a pass. Drag is there. Self plug right in front of him. Sends it toward the net. Saved by Nargila. Back into the corner it goes. And so they try to keep it in. Lobster in the Bush does grab it. Sends it across. Nice this is Fat Squirrel with a nice chance. He's going to have a backhand shot or a centering pass. Centers it. And it's cleared away by Nargila once more. Gabe needs to go ahead and just send this across, and he does so successfully. That's Lobster in the Bush on the front side of that. Self plug with the puck, bringing it in. He's got the blue line. And that backhand shot blocked easily. Right back to Goose as Goose clears it. No save recorded. And here's a nice chance for Drag. Drag with a backhand shot, and he scores! Nice goal by Drag. It was a good leave off by Fat Squirrel. Really nice play to leave it for Drag, who's got the momentum coming through. Drag with a really nice finish, top corner. Nothing for Narg to do about that one. So. Yeah, so uh, the quick 1 0 lead, the Blackhawks are doing well. Just over a minute having been played in this first period. This one sent across all the way to Fat Scroll. Fat Scroll sends it in. As Narg comes out of net, sends it right down the middle, middle of the ice. Goose starting to come out, now he goes all the way out. Chips it toward the corner, but Gabe is there, sends it across. Taser stepping up from the right side with a shot, but there was an open net. BG blocked it anyway. Taser rebound, shot again, blocked by BG, but brought back in by Tall Midget with a nice chance. Backhand shot scores! Oh, that's a breakdown on defense, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, th I think that's more of a uh, Chicago giving up a goal than anything in there. Good play by Tall Midget to capitalize, of course, but I think Chicago needs to tighten up there. Yeah, that's not a, not a normal play you'll usually see from that defending uh, BG and Lobster 
Uh, that was just not well played by them. So tied up, 1-1 with 3.03 left in the first period. The centering pass bounces off the side of the net and falls harmlessly to Taser Stick as he carries it on his backhand. He's got Tall Midget in front of him. Blocked a little bit, but he still maintained possession for a moment enough to chip it at the Tall Midget. As the puck goes behind uh, their own net, BG is now breaking it out for Chicago. As it looks like he's lining up a long shot, this is going to be wide, but oh, nearly shot in by Drag. Almost had the had the chance there. As Drag tries to get it back to the right point, oh, unable to, as it gets back to Goose. And he's going to be coming out to take this one. Waits for the pass to develop. Gets it around to Drag. He's got Lobster and Bush across, and a nice pass, an excellent receive there. Lobster and Bush with it in. Tall Midget whiffs on defense. Brings it in, centering pass, but it's blocked by Gabe. The rebound, Fat Squirrel gets a shot, but it's wide. Drag stepping up on the left side. This one's going to land right in front of the net as Dragon, self, or Dragon Tall uh, collide there as BG now is going to have to pick this one back up in his own zone for Chicago moving right to left once more. There's a nice defensive, or a nice forecheck there by Gabe. Tall Midget with it, tries the pass, blocked by Lobster to Bush. As it's rebounded, Fat Squirrel nearly with the opportunity, but solid play to keep that from being an opportunity. A lot of back and forth already, uh, but so far we've just had the two two goals so far. 1-1, one, one, 135 left in the first period. <clears throat> It'll be interesting to see if Chicago can recover from that, uh, from that poor play, giving up the goal. So far they're doing they're better on well. the forecheck. I think they've been playing really well. I don't think Carolina's had any chance to actually make any passes. Like, I haven't seen a good completion zone like, this entire game. Besides, besides the mistake behind the net, or in front of the net, rather, Chicago's tightened up on the defense. You look bit. at the breakout there from uh, Chicago. It didn't work, but that's the kind of stuff we've been seeing from them, uh, at least in the first period. Lots of crisp, clear passes up the middle. And here Whereas we see this from Carolina, right? This long pass that will only works like maybe 10% of the time and doesn't have a high success rate. It's surprising because you've got excellent scoring forwards and Gabe and self plug and Taser and Tom Bidget, fantastic demon as well. It's uh, it's not often you see them just going. Well, it, it is often, but it, it's surprising to see them just going to that long pass offense. Yeah, it's it, strange, especially Gabe. I know Gabe loves to carry the puck, but he, he does pass given like the opportunity like he's not a dumb player absolutely be interesting to see if they can find any success here is i don't think they've crossed the blue line with the puck besides that one possession where they scored yet as yeah. the clock's winding down in the first stands and maybe one last chance for chicago to get the lead as that one hops over a stick bounces into the corner that school has a chance to center it but a nice block by self plug ends the period tied up at one chicago Carolina. I think Carolina gets away with a little bit of a sleepy period there. I think they need to tighten up definitely if they want to win this game. Yeah, I, I agree. I think Chicago probably would have liked to have two in that period. They had the better of the play throughout. And then they just couldn't capitalize on the chances in the offensive zone. Uh, they but they did a very good job preventing Carolina from having any good chances outside of their one goal. Would you say they didn't capitalize the seeds on their chances? I would never say that, no. no. <laughs> well, here's the forecheck is Carolina trying to get some zone time. That goes across the self plug, fires it in, but it's wide, and the net goes behind for Lobster and the Bush to pick up. Trying to break this one out. Tom is on the forecheck, misses it. Gabe gets a piece. Really Taser comes up with it. And finally, now BG up towards Drag. Drag can't get the body, and so self plug. Bounces it toward the corner, but he kind of gives up on an entalmage and his left uh, just stalled the, uh, in, in no man's land a bit. But fortunately for Carolina, nothing comes of it as Lobster and Bush had to retreat to neutralize to grab that puck bouncing back through. There's a centering pass, dangerously tipped in front by self plug. Here's the rebound, pass in Ooh. front, save made. Puck is still dangling out there, and they get the clear. Nice uh, save there. Narg had to make a, a no reaction time uh, play on the puck. Drag with yeah. a really good off angle puck. Uh, I would say it, it kind of looks like Gabe's playing very timid right now. He's not really pressuring the puck or trying to generate any offense. He's kind of just waiting for his team to get in the. Ooh, a big tip down by Drag! 
Oh, oh man. That was a I'll gorgeous a shot and a better tip. Drag's playing really well tonight. The drag drag has been excellent. There's a save by Goose. But yeah, that uh, excellent effort by Drag. And here's another breakaway chance for him as he crosses the blue line with the puck. He's got fast scroll in front, brings it through, but gets stopped by self plug. And now the return, they've got a two on two. If Talmadge can get this puck past BG, but he slows down a bit too much. Pass up to Gabe. Gabe can't get it. Now he has it, passes it off of the net on a JSL pass. Nothing coming from it. Gabe swipes it across. Taser's way, way, way too far back. They are not doing well at sealing the zone at all. Yeah, like, another like miscommunication. Not, nothing is going right for this Carolina team. Yeah, Carolina seems very timid trying to break the puck out. They aren't moving up the ice as a unit. They're kind of... Oh! Kind of... <laughs> and of course, the stretch pass to Nard hits Gabe and he, he just puts it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's that's a very the... fortuitous bounce. Uh, yeah, that's the second uh, grounder, though, that Goose has let in. and. While they can be difficult, he needs to have at least one of those, especially when the puck's not elevated. And that's one to, to tie it up as well. Now we see Debezi in uh, for Taser, surprisingly. Taser left, back, though. They're probably going to switch it again. Yeah, that may have been. Oh, the centering pass blocked by BG, and they scoot it out. Here's Drag skating towards it. Taser on defense is going to arrive first after getting back on the ice. Passes up the boards to Self Plug. Self Plug brings it across. Tall Midget cuts back down, and Taser goes up for him. Sent across. Dangerous play, and intercepted easily by Drag. He's got Fat Squirrel in front. Fat Squirrel, a dangerous force. There's a centering pass, but it lops off the side of the net. Gabe whiffs on the receiver for a moment and just has to clear it. As the period's winding down, less than half the game to go. And it's just 2-2 here after two ground shots. Someone will need to take over for me for just about 30 seconds here. Just a moment. I got you. A puck's in out to the Carolina red line, and it's dumped back in by the blue team. Phaser with it now in the corner, sends it up looking for Tall Midget. Tall receives at the halfway mark and dumps it in where BG will recover. Gabe pressuring in the corner. BG sends it around for Lobster in the bush. Uh, Crab sends it back across to BG, but it's behind them, and they'll have to regroup their own zone. Gabe on the four-track though, and BG evades him. Fat Squirrel with it. Doesn't get all of it, and it comes out to uh, Lobster in a bush where it goes back into his own zone. Gabe, uh, voracious on that, uh, not the voracious, but anyway, Gabe hard <laughs> on the four-track. That's a good word. I like it. Yeah. I had to make sure that there my dog are. wasn't barking at anything important, so I'm here now. Yeah. As it's brought into the zone, there's Lobster in a bush with a prime chance and a big save oh. there by Narg as it goes behind the net. Beautiful shot. And a better save. Narg just had the angle. Here's Tall Midget. He's skated a little bit to the left now. He's got it. Yeah. He's got self plug down the boards. Brings it in. Tall. Oh, and he oh. shot off the side of the net. I don't know if that was a save or what. A rebound oh. off the side. He oh. self plug brings it in. Wow. Interesting again that Carolina, every time they get a chance, they just capitalize. I guess that's what happens when you have some highly skilled forwards who can really shoot the puck. Mm hmm. That's just really surprising. I'm not. I'm not sure what that uh, that goalie play is. Not what I would expect it to be in Goose. Yeah, maybe having an I, can, I can't really fault Goose in the last one. It was a hard shot to save. Hit the post and landed in his crease, like behind his stick reach. So I can understand how that gets tipped in. But yeah, the first Para. two, it's a little <laughs> difficult. Don't be a jerk, Para. You <laughs> Come on, man. Oh boy. That was a, that's really interesting. I think Chicago cannot be discouraged. They have to keep playing the way they're playing and just hope that some of these shots that they're getting actually go in. I mean, just before that goal, Lobster had a chance to, you know, get his own lead, but it was a really nice save by Narc. So uh, they just have to keep doing what they're doing, get shots in, get shots on, keep breaking out really well. We'll see if that works for them. Well, here's Tall Midget with it as we've begun the third period. It's in a cross. Oh, but a nice play by Lobster Bush. That one's headed for trouble as Gabe was going to have a nice one-on-one, -on -one, as those are the opportunities that Gabe certainly excels in. Now Taser brings it in. He's got a long shot. It's going to be just wide. Gabe nearly coming in with that backhand shot, as this one's going to go all the way down to the other side of the ice. Narg oh, having okay. to make the save, as that one was coming in hot. And quickly on the other side, here's Gabe with a shot, but blocked by a lobster in a bush. And a nice job there. Defensively, it's... 
they're having to make too many of those great plays, though, on defense. I think Chicago might be getting just a little bit out of position here as these are uncharacteristic plays that they're having to make. Usually they, they've been able to beat them with... Usually they've been... Oh, that's right in front! Here's a dangerous chance, and he scores! Oh, and that one is inexcusable. Yeah, that was bad. But, yeah, Chicago is a team that excels when they're playing with a lead. But they are also a team that is not very good at getting one. They are very good defensively, but they are not have they don't have the offensive output that allows them to get settled into their game most nights. So now they're down four two and being forced to take oh. chances that don't like. Oh, BG. There you go. <laughs> BG so with the key a to shot. Now these teams scoring is me having something to say. It seems. Yeah, <laughs> that, I think that they've does interrupted you seven times. Appear to be the case. Well, back and forth it goes. There's a backhand He's shot. It's going to be off. above the net. Just a bit above as that one had a chance if it was a little bit less powerful. Just a, under uh, three and a half to play in this final stanza. It's 4-3 Carolina after that goal by Chicago. And uh, that, was a nice, that was a nice shot. But again, it's, it's just weird. Uh, both of these teams seem to be very leaky on defense, at least today. And it may be because Chicago has had uh, – oh, nice block there on defense by self-plug. He's got tall midget, but BG takes it right away from him. BG lining it up. He's got a man in front, tall midget. And there's in front – oh, a whiff shot by Fatscroll as he wound up a little bit too much there. Here's a prime opportunity for Taser, but blocked by Lobster in a bush. Tall Midget catches up to it, sends it back around. Taser's going to have to step up here. He's got Gabe in front, Tall Midget across. The centering pass lands, but shot wide. And now sent out of the zone, picked up by Fat Squirrel. I He's moving into the zone with speed, beats the defender, back in, shot save oh, made by Narg. God. Laid on, and here's Drag back in with it. That was a nicely saved puck. Narg's been playing well. He kept Carolina with the lead here. Oh, oh nice shot. The rap attempt right off the side of the net. But here's an open net opportunity if BG can get the shot on, and it's blocked Ooh. by a defender this right back bounce. into Goose's zone. Lucky bounce. Carolina needs to clear the zone better than they've been doing. They're just handing it right back to Chicago. If they want to keep this lead, they have to make sure that they get it out at least. Um, well, they're pressuring They're pressuring heavy in the neutral zone, and then once they get in, Carolina's just kind of letting it happen. They're, they need to tighten up right there in front and not let those things happen right there. There's BG. Centering yeah, it, yeah, it's wide. Puck, yeah. I mean, even if it comes to it, just start dumping the puck and play time. You know, that yeah. you have to not be selfish here. As there's a wrap chance by Dragon, he scores oh, to tie it up. And Dragon that that's exactly the team on his back. And really, you'd like to see them get one more because they do not. I don't think Chicago will do well in overtime, as that requires them to be. Very aggressive and go for the goal where they like to sit back in their own zone and let the other team make mistakes. So you think they'd want to finish it out in this next minute? I thought self plug might have had a chance there if he was more aggressive to grab the puck, but instead he let it go by. Here's Taser now, sending it towards the net. He's got Tom Edge in front, and that's tipped on net by BG as a save is made by Goose. 55 seconds left to go. The game is tied for all. Caroline and Chicago struggling in this battle. This one goes across the lobster in the bush. He shoots it through in front of the scores. Chicago with a beautifully tipped, tipped goal. Was that, that, that was definitely that was changing tipped, direction. That but, tipped by Carolina. I don't know who, but. Yeah, I guess if a lobster had the goal, it must have been tipped by a defenseman. Yeah. I believe wow. so. Well, now. That was, a, uh, that was a kick in the knackers for Carolina. They've only got 30 seconds to recover. Absolutely. It's going to be a tough fight. 31 seconds on the clock. 5-4 Chicago now with the lead. As Lobster and Bush plays it to the to the side, Taser tries to keep it in. There's Drag awaiting the puck right in front of the net. Tries to get the body. Now 18 seconds left. Plenty of time for this Carolina team, but they do have to work fast. This pass might make its way to Self Plug, and he has it. He's got Tall Mission in front. Taser on the boards. Nine seconds left. Taser lines up a shot. It's in front. Now it goes back behind the net. They've got to grab this puck. They've got to have someone in front. It's passed in front, but no one was there. And that's going to do it as Carolina drops a close one, 5-4 to four to Chicago. Thanks thanks for the cast. i got to go practice my team. But good game, you guys. User left thanks, for, uh, yeah, thanks for being with us, Kill Pestle. Yeah, that's a surprising game uh, mm -hmm. for Carolina to battle back. And Chicago... 
Uh, we, there's a lot of shots back and forth, and about 45% save rates for the goalies. I think a bit uncharacteristic. Well, I would... Nard saved what he could. None of those drag shots. They all went bar down, and all are from point blank. That's right. the defense. Goose had a couple softies that he should have had. This was not his best game, but his team got the win regardless. But... Absolutely, and that's that's going to be a tough one for Carolina to lose, as now they're a full game out of playoff uh, position. Mm -hmm. Still close, but as we get closer and closer to the end of the season, as after this one, we've got a week's worth of breaks from LHL, and this is the midseason, so uh, basically, what, just 12 more games to go? 11 games? Something like that. Nine, maybe. Ten or that few? Nine or ten? <clears throat> or 10 after this, I believe. So, definitely still time to turn it around. 30 points on the board. But. You gotta, you gotta start playing better than that. There were too many opportunities. Mm -hmm. And they all, Carolina, they ultimately, they should not have been that close. A lot of, at least, we'll, we'll say two. Two goals, I think, that probably should have been saved. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm not a goalie, so I. Not to. Be, uh, <laughs> not to pass off what oh that should have been an easy save you know it's, it's obviously a lot different when you're on the ice you can only make stick saves all that kind of stuff but regardless Carolina has to execute better and especially after that hot start to the season it looked like they were going to be dominating all all the time and then it starts to fall apart self plug can't show up all the time and then you got issues with you need to trade people channel. back and forth so Surprising. Yeah, uh, definitely. I, I would say if Carolina had played like they did in the third period, I think they could have won this game. But they had a bad first period, and then their second period was nothing to be nothing to write home about. So I think they just got to find some consistency in their game, and that'll lead them to success. There's a lot of holding the puck at the end instead of clearing it. Mm -hmm. It's like give up, give up possession in your own zone. It's always bad. Yeah, I got plus one in that game. Marking them the stats. I came on the ice for the second goal and scored a second land. <laughs> so if I don't get it, I'm gonna fucking cause a riot. Well, we oh. we, we know you're always good for one to be easy. <laughs> yeah, I like my I like my time. Yeah. Well, that, that was uh, a, that was a well played game by the Blackhawks as uh, they recovered from a, a questionable start. That was a great game by Drag. Holy shit! Yeah, Drag. Drag is gonna be one of the best additions to that Blackhawks team, who who have that... been having a little trouble scoring. But with him, I think that'll have big, pay di big dividends for them down the line. For that last goal, did uh did, did the Carolina defender tip that in the one, Krabs yeah, long shot? That's what it appeared to be from what we can tell. It definitely changed directions, and Krabs still got the point. So it was, it was a great a shot, defensive. and then it just. That was an impossible. It looked like it was gonna land early, or it was gonna uh, just tip down. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Drag is ranking channel. up there with uh, some of the best of them as far as the top performers list. He's definitely the best on Chicago. At one point seven point per game tick, is he had what another three tonight? Didn't he have two goals oh, oh, and an assist? A lot of that's from Car when he was on Carolina too. But... Right. Yeah. So uh, removing that from the equation, got Gabe self plug. Obviously fantastic players in their own right but uh behind them you know wh where, where do you go from there i mean uh, it, is, it, is leaf just, still on it, the team i can follow that it Got feels him. like gabe just has no confidence in the team around him and that's what all these trades are from right i mean i mean you got tall midget tall midget's only notched uh in six games recorded as far as statistics go he's only notched two points and he's listed as an offenseman, and then you've got, you know, is Leafs, is Leafs actually still on Carolina? I don't know what team Leafs is on. I thought he was on Chicago. I'll have to go back and follow and figure out where. But as far as the number of games we've got left, we've got three, three. Yeah, it's just. Actually, it's just eight games. Eight games oh. left, starting May 16th. That's a Tuesday. 
in a week from today, actually. Yeah, we'll be returning to action with Los Angeles at Vegas, New York at Chicago, and Calgary at Carolina. So, obviously, with that, Los Angeles has been playing their games a lot closer. After that Sunday game, they battled to within one of Calgary. A lost in regulation. It was a pretty close one, especially after that first goal by Luch. We'll have to we'll have to see how it shakes out, but uh, I don't know. Right now, it it really feels like Calgary just has an absolute beat on the rest of the league. They've had some close ones, but I mean, you can't argue with ten, one, zero, oh, and two, and thirty two points scored. Mm -hmm. You'd also have to think Vegas is underperforming right now with only fourteen points. The talent on that team. I, I've only got them at thirteen here. They've got oh, the overtime God. loss and four wins. I mean, they're still in that playoff spot, but it's hanging by a thread with Chicago mm -hmm. winning. Uh, they need to start racking up points, create some separation between them and Carolina and the uh, Los Angeles Kings. Just uh, It's surprising, you know, but there's a lot of talent on these teams, and I do like seeing that there's still some good parity here. It's not mm -hmm. just enough to have one or two stars. Normally, Gabe and Self Plug, you think, you put together two decent skaters and a decent goalie, and that should be a team that'll be in the top three. But as just as far as talent, but it's not it's not all about that. There's a lot of chemistry that goes into it. Of course, attendance being a big part as well. So, but uh, 26 minutes for a 15 minute game. I guess I should go ahead and get off now. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks Capital Skis for being in the booth with me. Appreciate your presence as always. And we'll be back here, twitch.tv slash HQM Network. Just about a week. 7.30, same bat time, same bat channel. <laughs>